So today we're gonna cook up one of my all-time favorite seafood dishes, trout almondine. Super famous in New Orleans. I had it probably a million times growing up as a kid. So uh, right now I've got my skillet heating up here. Uh, but while that's heating up, I wanna tell you about this table that I'm using today. It's from a company called GCI Outdoor. They're the sponsor of today's video. They make awesome camp tables, camp chairs, and even rockers. So you can check them out online or check them out at your local gear shop. So um, let's go ahead and dive into here. I've got my pan heating up nicely here. And I'm gonna go ahead and throw a half a cup of almonds into this pan for about three minutes. All right, so that's about three minutes on my almonds. I just want them lightly toasted. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull those out of there and get started on our fish. So what I'm using for the fish today is some beautiful rainbow trout because we're up here in Colorado. But typically this would be a speckled trout that you'd use if you were gonna use a traditional recipe. And uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and make an egg wash and the batter for these fish. So the wash, I've just got about a cup of milk. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that in a bowl and I'm just gonna throw an egg in there and get that nice and mixed together. So now that I've got my egg wash looking good, I'm gonna go ahead and make the, uh, the other piece of the batter. So I've got about a half a cup of flour and then the things that makes the crust on trout almondine a little bit different is I've got what's almost like a powdered uh, thing of almonds here. So I'm gonna go ahead and add that in. This is about a quarter of a cup of almonds. Add a little bit of salt, and then I'm gonna grind in a little bit of pepper. All right, so now that I've got my batter done for my fish, I'm gonna go ahead and throw about four tablespoons of oil into my skillet and get it nice and hot. So with these fish, you go ahead and just give them a nice wash in this egg, but I'm gonna go ahead and drop them all in there. From here, I'm gonna take the trout from the egg wash into the batter and then throw it right in the pan. We'll start with three and see how that goes. So I've got my fish in the skillet, I've got the batter on them, and I just want them to do two to three minutes on each side just until that batter is nice and brown. So I'm gonna keep a really close eye on these. Also, you see I've got my green beans over here. In just a second, I'm gonna go ahead and start heating these up. Traditionally, trout almondine is served with green beans, but your favorite vegetable will do when I was growing up, there's a restaurant in New Orleans called Mr. B's, one of my favorite spots to get it, and it's always served with green beans. All right, so these have been on for about two and a half minutes on each side. They're getting nice and crispy. I'm gonna go ahead and turn on my green beans here just to warm them up because we're getting pretty close to eating. There. Second one comes off. All right, so my fish is all cooked, and I've got this skillet with all this buttery, fishy goodness in here. I'm gonna go ahead and make the sauce for the trout almondine. Drop in a knob of butter, a big one. So I'm gonna melt this butter down nicely for around two minutes. What I just want is to start to get that nutty aroma and just start to brown a little bit. Next up, go ahead and squeeze a half a lemon into that butter. So my lemon butter is cooking down right now. It smells amazing, but this time is gonna make it smell even better. And for this, we're just gonna leave it for about a minute. That time, you don't want it to burn or crisp up, so we just want it to, we just want this sauce to absorb that nice flavor. And lemon is really important to this dish because you know it gets pretty heavy with all that butter, so it really lightens it up. So I'm gonna go ahead and take some of my toasted almonds, go ahead and put those right across the top. Now that I've got that done, I'm gonna go ahead and add a nice healthy portion of this sauce right over that whole dish. All right, we've got the whole thing ready, so last step is go ahead and add some green beans, and we are ready to eat. And there you go, trout almondine. All right, before I dig into this trout almondine, I just wanna thank you guys again for watching. Uh, leave a comment if you've got uh, any recommendations on what we ought to cook next here in the backyard. We're going to keep doing these little mini episodes until the quarantine here in Denver ends. And uh, if you think about it, also leave a comment on some good Netflix recommendations. We'll see you on the next video.